I just wanted to mention on, on a more somber note, the passing of Jeff Gaylord. And as the fans may or may not be aware, he was uh, involved in, in an angle in the WWF. I believe it was the Survivor Series 1993, where where he was one of the the knights that was originally supposed to be Jerry Lawler's, and then it became Shawn Michaels. You were one of the knights. Yep. And then you had a, a pretty uh, successful run as the mass knights on the house show circuit for a number of months after that. Yeah. So just wanted to, wanted to get your thoughts on, on Jeff's passing as a, as a worker and also your experience in those, uh, in that night's angle with him. Yeah. Well, as far as, as Jeff, as a person, um, I knew him, I knew him from global. I knew him from Memphis and of course, WWF when he was a knight. And I think that's all they did with him there, but Jeff was an easygoing guy. And, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think he could have been pushed a little bit different or more, um, as far as an athlete and football player and, and, um, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong probably, but he was actually, um, that's it. I'm pretty sure he was a Missouri tiger in college. That was the name. And if I'm not mistaken, back in the day, if you made the Bob Hope All-American team, I mean, you were the she is it, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure he made the Bob Hope All-American team. Uh, I'm pretty sure I heard this from Del Wilkes. And Del Wilkes was a fan of him, too, because of that football thing, because of uh, Del was big in college, also football. But I uh, always got along with Jeff. I traveled with him one time. I think we were on an indie show in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And I think we traveled together then. But I uh, never had a problem with Jeff. And I admired his training. His look was awesome. Uh, fantastic athlete. So, yeah, it is a darn shame. I, I was I was actually shocked. And I haven't seen him. Let me think now. I have not seen Jeff either the Survivor Series, the night deal, or the last time I saw him was Global, maybe. And that's it. So that's a long time. Wow. And uh, at, I believe he was 62 or so gone, gone too soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a shame. It's a shame. And I don't, I, I, I don't even know where he was living. Uh, I, I think he used to live in Memphis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I we think had, he may be originally from Missouri. I'm not sure. We, we had reached out to him in an attempt to um, get him on the show, but unfortunately um, that, that didn't happen. 